it's on thursday the 12th of january 2023 and i'm super excited to introduce to you uh the second episode of katiwa extra podcast and i'm super super excited to have the guest today she's so beautiful she's amazing but she's crazy and in Amanisha today, <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go down. It's about to be lit. Here. It's about to be lit. We're about to have fun. And I'm super excited to have the beautiful, <laughs> the one and only Kelly. Hi, people. From Homeboys Radio and also Kiss TV. Hello, hello. Making I'm... my debut. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> let me tell you a short story. <clears throat> when Katio Podcast was beginning, I was at the beginning, the Genesis. <laughs> huh? And this babe was like, oh my god, Kelly, you need to be on my first episode. <laughs> and I was like, for sure, babe, let's do it. How many months? Please, tell me. Uh, We're uh, in 2023. No, she does, she does. You've had two of your friends. It's fine. You know okay. what? But you know what? Unajua kitu, kitu important ni nini, babe? Uko hapa? Na also, ma, ma, masaya mungu, maridadi. <laughs> So. <laughs> <Mary Daddy. laughs> but thank you. I'm your host, Miss Katiwa, the Caribbean Queen, and I'm super, super, super excited to have all of you and everyone else who's trying as much as possible to subscribe. Please stop trying, just subscribe, do it, and share as much as possible. Today you're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> and before I to answer, Lazima shot. Oh my God! All the guests that I bring to the show, kila mtu ana mtu kozake, kila mtu akona drinki yake, and Shaza, I'll just have to start making rules. I never used to drink. No, I, I drink, but minimal. I only take wine or sparkling wine, and that's just it. No, gl- glass no, so please. We're starting the show off with a bang, so it's a bit. Oh, wow. Just one, just one. To nice space out, to nice space out, to nice space out. No, no, I'm kidding, you're caught up. Thank you. Life is a waste of time. Goja. Time is a waste Shubi. of life. Ume sema atuwezi ya kachini. Ah, atuwezi ya kachini. That's Reason seven years. It? That's seven years of bad sex, guys. But Whenever you pick up a shot glass, like after the drinks have been poured. Who like, decided obviously. on that? I need to know who decided on that. Um, Nana liamua tukieka. I mean. The head of the tequila committee. So you're the head of tequila committee? Yes. So I decided. Okay. But I, it's true. Uh, usi, usi, usi jaribu, please. Okay. But <laughs> it's, first off, uh-huh. before I even take this shot, or before we even take this shot, mm-hmm. Uh, I know you love tequila, and that's why I decided we, we must have tequila on the show. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I really consider my guest. <laughs> Secondly, who decided that tequila and lemons zinaendana? Who? Because you know, the Mexicans. Okay. Because back in their country, mm-hmm. you see, in Iko bitter. Okay. So, oh, it, so this is bitter. Yeah, it's bitter because the aftertaste is not a gravy. So the lemon is supposed to reduce that you know reflex so, yeah okay so like what so. are we cheersing to <clears throat> here's some more money okay here's to inner peace in 2023 no peace so violence uh, uh inner peace okay inner peace yes please where <laughs> we're, we're going to therapy and healing this year guys <laughs> here's some better opportunities okay and even better sex better sex cheers Hello. baby girl <laughs> Nice. Hi, cheers. Hi, cheers. come on. What? <laughs> let's go. Let's go. No, 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 no. no. You love to take me slow. Uh, Before even the show started, we took like two, two more shots. Uh-huh. Basically, yaku, could you bring to the environment? Now, Kelly, mm-hmm. welcome to the show. Thank and you. And I'm super excited to have you. You pretty as always you look amazing so and you, beautiful babe, so but before you. we even continue uh you can just look at the ambience uh we are <laughs> uh to go in pala club <laughs> that's tequila <laughs> i'm telling you that's the tequila thank you so much to impala club for hosting us and um umonaji impala club before i even Nakapo, talk about by it the way. Nakafiti. i like the grounds it's very serene mm-hmm. it has a lot of facilities it, it okay. looks good mm-hmm. mm. yes a lot of facilities and that includes swimming pool there's a gym just beside us uh mm-hmm. there's also a clubhouse and that is uh if you want to be a member though for you to enjoy all this you have to be a member but at the same time you can also be a guest you can be uh, a gym member na utakuna enjoy facilities kama uh, sauna the steam bath so i'll be telling you more about that as the show continues kelly 
for those who don't know Kelly, unajua tukaa sisi tumekujua because I've worked with you at Homeboys Radio yeah. previously. Yeah. Uh, we see you a lot on TikTok, but your accent also speaks a lot. You know, Manisha, wow. kidogo baby girl. <laughs> Uja grow huku ka sisi. Do you know what's crazy? I have lived here in Kenya for a while. For a while. You know, Manisha, ulizaliwa wapi? We would love you, you to You really know. want to know that yes, whole story? We want to know. Alright, so I was born in Holland. Alright. Um, I've lived in South Africa. I've lived here in Kenya. And then why you're saying I have an accent is because I moved to New York. Okay. Then I'm, I'm back home. So. Wow. So That's your entire yeah. life literally we go outside. Mm. So you came in. Okay. Oh now I came back to Kenya in 2005. I stayed until 2013. Then I left for New York and then came back 2018. 2018. Yeah. So when you come to me, I mean, difference yake ni wewe kama abudu abudu ametoka ushago juzi juzi western we puhulu mundo kumundo mundo kumundo nika kutoka ushago then kukuja Nairobi which that is really amazing and how is it like growing outside the country then unakuja obviously kwanza life yako tena in Kenya how is it obviously like? unapata culture shock cuz like i remember when i left Kenya i didn't want to leave uli uli toka ukiwa how long uh, I was I left I when I was like 17 17 years old yeah okay so like I mean I didn't want to go because you know you've built your friendships here right. you know the system here in Kenya yeah but actually moving to New York was one of the best things ever because you're exposed to a lot more mm-hmm. and honestly life out there is a lot more efficient it's faster it's more fun and okay. stuff like that yeah more fun and mm. we'll be talking more about that <laughs> yeah but yeah then moving back to Kenya was obviously like damn I don't really want to do this but once I got back home because mm-hmm. honestly when I was in high school okay the first thing I said was I want to work at home with radio okay so coming back to Kenya and like getting the opportunity I was like girl you manifested this hello yeah also how did you even get to homeboys because I also had a dream of you know working at homeboys but yeah. as a DJ and that was when I, I was in high school <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes by the way yeah. I can DJ you can DJ. Yes, I can DJ. Ni kona skills kiasi. I can kill. Um, neza, I know what you neza mean by DJ. BPM and all that. Blah blah blah. Yeah, and you and DJ. Yes, and I remember. If she doesn't get it. Oh you my god. DJ. No, I'm, I'm just trying to avoid. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid. This. But it's okay. <laughs> Kelly uh, went to New York, and then came back to Kenya. Yeah. Um. So you came back to Kenya at what age? 20. I was 20, 21, 22, 22. 21, 22. Yeah. So you, ukiwa inje? Um, I, I did mass com, mm-hmm. film studies, and sociology. So basically, what you're doing? So yeah. sh- sociology, I'm a sociology. I, I say sociology so, or sociology. In, in, in a rotate around what? Oh, na semanga August ama August. August. Yes. Una sanga April. No, but I would really say love April. to know. You say April. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Bas. <laughs> See, it's also August. I would really love to know what mm-hmm. is the study of sociology. I'm a sociology. Sociology is basically the study of it's like anthropology. It's the study of people and the like social customs. So me kuki ni somai time mi yote tumi kwa mabeshi. Yeah, of course. Like, of course. Bombo clad. So ni nume soma about me yote mi yote tumi kwa mabeshi. Sisterhood. <laughs> and we'll be getting more into that later <laughs> on. <laughs> Sister. I would really love to know what you've studied about me. I'm a rather what you've known. I'm a okay, what, you a, what you. I know about you is you're friendly, but you're not going to be able No, it's the truth. It's the truth. You also, you're like me in a sense of when we're around like people, uh-huh. we're very social. Okay. But we take time to observe people and be like, okay, what are you really about? Like you ask questions. Yeah. You're like, what are you really about? And then you make your conscious decision as to whether you like them or not. Okay. But you're going to be constantly diplomatic. It doesn't matter. Oh, diplomatic. You know, of late I've been hanging out with diplomats and so <laughs> I love the language. <laughs> 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 no problem. And as we continue, this is Kelly. She's a radio presenter, a TV presenter. She's such an amazing soul. And I know you get a lot of judgments of which of course. being in the media a lot of judgment and I would love to know what are some of the judgments that you make kukikutana nazo ever since you started before even got the, I mean going into how did you even start awulingiaje kwa media but please let me know what are some of the harshest um judgments judgments that you make kukutana nazo um I mean I've been told everything because I mean you've seen the way I dress guys me I'm not afraid to like I love like, your dress code 
I'm not afraid to flaunt it if I got it, you know. So, I mean, most people here in Kenya don't like it because, I mean, for them it means that what, you're They're a They're not hoe. used to that. Yeah, you're a hoe, you're trying to get oh attention. How dare you? You're dressing like you're going to a brothel all the time. Yeah. And I'm just like, no, I'm comfortable in my skin and yeah. I don't really care what you think about it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, most people... I mean, Pumbas uses it to their advantage. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when the two of us are there, they use it to their advantage because we're babes. And to the maximum. Exactly. No, I, this is what I think um, in terms of dress code. Kwa sababu, it's also a, bla a backlash and you know, for the longest time. Mm. And I personally, I dress according to how, how I you feel. feel. Yep. I dress because I feel comfortable mm. in my skin. Mm. I dress because... I'm in that specific mood. Mm -hmm. Nico, in that mood, na mood yangu niambia, this is how I want to dress. Mm -hmm. And I, one thing that people should understand, I don't I don't dress to impress people. Or to get attention. Si, dressing because <laughs> nataka kuninoki, ama nataka kumangana na mse mahali, ama nataka... Uh, no, 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 no. I dress that but way there because... But there are those posts that you have that are subs. There are those posts that you have what, that what are subliminals. What huh? posts? I start pulling up your Instagram <laughs> site. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, as a babe, I understand, Katiwa, that sometimes you'll be there like God has your back, but you're like, boo, this is what you're missing out on. You decided not to tap this. You think I don't know you? It's no, okay. here's the thing. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. Uh, sometimes I just want to feel sexy. And for me to you feel want to be sexy, affirmed. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't need affirmation from someone. Uh -huh. I affirm myself. Uh -huh. And that comes through how I dress. Uh -huh. And most of the time, see now at Wakunia Farm, at the baby girl, you look amazing, you look sexy, like mm -hmm. today you look amazing, mm -hmm. you look sexy and all that. Mm -hmm. I don't need that every single day. Because you have it yourself? Yes, I have it in myself. Mm -hmm. And for me to even believe in myself, it has to begin with me. Mm -hmm. So, because I dress in a certain way, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean Sorry. that I need affirmation from people. I'm a, I need affirmation from my man because... Um, we cannot even go there. <laughs> uh, ah, when, why is that? Joy, your story. Una Johnny city. No. Una chapa shorts. <laughs> she has. What? You've pleaded the fifth, right? You've pleaded <laughs> the fifth because you're about to hit a nail up. Oh, hebu chapa shorts. <laughs> if you're going to speak, to be <laughs> no. Short. Here's the thing. Uh huh. Here's the thing. Dress code has played a major role in my life and in my career. True. And. Being in Kenya, living in Kenya, and being a Kenyan, yeah. it comes with a lot of consequences. True. Number True. one, and I'll be super straight and super honest, and you can attest to mm -hmm. this. We don't get a lot of endorsements yeah. or a lot of um, just imagine, clients who approach yeah. because they think the way you dress defines you, yeah. which is so wrong. I personally feel it is so wrong yeah. because... Um, th this is a discussion I was having with a friend of mine. Mm. In terms of content creators and influencers, yeah. we are so different. Mm -hmm. Kuna sisi wenye content creators tumetoka mtaa and tuna well, define, tuna mm -hmm. get kujijua as we go by. Mm -hmm. Then kuna ma content creators wenye ni mababi, wame live in the rich yeah. and you know in the suburbs mm -hmm. uh, whereby if they dress in a certain way it's not, it's not upon, yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Unani, and I'm not even going to mention names and I'm not going to mention names because, again, they've been in that society. Yeah. So, sisi wenye tumetoka mta, unajwendo tuna explore and tuna, define, tuna define ourselves. Um, and as you're in the path of defi defining yourself, yeah. you get to try different things. Mm -hmm. When you try different things, in you know, a certain limitations. Of course, of course. Because you've, you are not in that society. But if you are in this society, and I bet all of you understand what I'm talking about, it Even however, a no one yeah. will judge you. Yeah. Because clearly you They are. want to be associated with you and ka bro, I'm yes, going. Exactly. Katiwa, yes, anything. Yeah, but anyway, course. that is not even the conversation. <laughs> Baby girl, I would love to know how how would you differentiate growing up in the States or outside the country compared na Napa Kenya? What is the main difference? I mean, uh, racism. <laughs> like, there, obviously, you have to take in account that in New York specifically, you're surrounded by so many cultures. Like, okay. New York is a hub of everyone who's not American that will flock yeah. in there. So you're surrounded by so many cultures, and it's a battle. Like, you know the way guys make fun of, like, um, sorry to say Asian people, yeah. Yeah. Over there, those guys will cheat black people 
they're actually lower than black people in right. the terms of racism. So yeah. it's just like, what? You're trying to adjust to all of that. And then people are always thinking that New York is like a very clean place. It's the dirtiest state <laughs> in the United States, bro. Like, what? When I moved there at first, I couldn't breathe. I was just like, what? Kunanuka, bro. Were you excited at first to go? Um, Of course, because you see, the way New York is advertised on yes, TV, yes, yes, they only show you Times Square. So yeah, you think eh? the whole of New York is Times Square. Mm. So, I mean, you're exposed to that. And then you go to New York itself and you're like, oh, it's not like this. But New York is still really fun. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot more fast paced than Kenya. Mm-hmm. It's more efficient, but the cultural differences might like deter you from wanting to stay there for a very long time because it's a very busy busy place see car kenya you make an appointment to the bank at eight when i talk at five yeah there you make an appointment at eight at eight thirty you're, you're, you're out. done yeah Africa, we are very slow. Yeah, we're very slow, and for them, they're very open-minded. So mm. don't go there. So in short, uko mm. <laughs> They come <laughs> very quickly. We are one minute man. Wow, <laughs> that is interesting. Eh? One minute. I'm aware Kenya of my experience as because you've also lived outside for a bit. Well, when only you one to, man. Yeah, surely. But that is I mean, not I mean, still, the, it was completely okay. different because Germany. Thing. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Um. The one month that I was in Germany, mm. why do I feel like mbona mnafeleka nilishi huko mwaka moja? So the one month that I was in Germany, mm. um, things were really difficult, not the same way uh when you Kenya. Mm. Kenya uh vitu utataka zifanyike very chap chap juu ya hongo. Yeah. Uh outside there's no they, they do hakuna kitu yeah. kama hongo. Um secondly, there's system. Mhm. Lazima ufuate system, lazima ufuate protocol. Mm-hmm. If auna appointment you cannot show case. Uno na kwenye tuna toka pata mengi ya safari kwa kwenye tuna jisikia. Walk in, yeah, then no walk in appointment. Ka una appointment. That so basically what I learned and what I understood is, inje kuna system. Yeah. There's protocol compared to Kenya. Mm. Kenya you can. It's ax- who you know. Yes, it's, it's who, who you, you know. know. Who do you know? The people you know. The influence that you have. Yeah. Who you are. Inje uneza kwa superstar, but they don't give a shit about yeah, who you don't. are. Do you have so, the qualifications or not? Yeah. That was a major shock for me. And outside it's so stressful. It is, is so it? stressful if auna watu when you wanna kusaidia on one or two things or when people who can show there, Yes, yeah. when you first move mm-hmm. there. Waso wenye watakushika mkono and all that. Hapa tuko nayo, tuko na hiyo support. Hapa tuko na hiyo system ya kusaidiana. Mm. But at the same time, if you find people who are from your same country, mm. useme wa Kenya wenzako, it's easier. They will tell you one or two things mm. if they like you. If they don't like you, sorry yako. Itabidi upambane kidi yako. So would you move back to Germany like yeah, for a longer? Yeah, I would. Yes, I would. Permanently, yes. one way ticket. I would move outside this country. But why? Um, because of the protocol no, and the system it, it's is not, yes, first I'm of all. because of Nani. <laughs> Who is Nani? Just Nani. be honest. Who is Nani? Nani. I've forgotten his name. This Babe. This, this is homie, it a this, guy or... Yeah, it's I? a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Abbas, you, your friend. And it's a Nani. Um, I've got a lot of friends outside the country. Yeah, so. you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Because who, who, talk, who was like, he to me? Who for, was he? He was your friend. Oh, that you if guys it's a like, friend, then it's not a big deal. I, well, you guys stayed friends because of distance. Did we fuck? Girl, you ain't tell me, did you? Well, I don't know who you're talking about. This this fucking nigga. States, Europe, I don't know. He's in about. Europe, but he's from the... Bitch, do you want me to talk <laughs> about it? Because I'm about to say everything. <laughs> Just be sorry. <laughs> Yes. The nigga from the Jamaican nigga, all right? Jamaican? Oh, the Jamaican nigga. <laughs> you know what? I feel like it's about that time. It's about that time. Let me pick up your first. It's about that time, yeah. I've got a lot of them. Ja- You've got a lot of Jamaican niggas? This bitch. Oh, so you've been around the block. No, I mean, you said friends. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but you're blushing. Why are you blushing? I'm not. You're I'm not. Let me take the full because one. Because you're trying to sabotage me. I'm not sabotaging you, bitch. I'm telling wait, you the truth. Wait, wait. Oh my god. I, I wait. Producer, bona to let our guest because this is so bad. Time is a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to take a break? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> life is a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Time is a waste of life. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> time. Life is a waste of time? Yeah. Life is a waste of time. Okay. Time, time is, a is a waste of, of life. life. Okay. Get wasted all the time and have the time of your okay. life. Okay, this is why... La Chaim! This is why... What? what? <laughs> <laughs> you want some water? When? Do you want some water? I need some water. Why didn't I even ask for water? This is why I don't hang out with Kelly. But I'm 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 keeping you hydrated. I'm keeping you hydrated, so you're okay. Good. So here's the thing: as we still define who's this guy that uh-huh. Kelly is talking about. Uh-huh. I think we just need to take a short break. No problem. <laughs> Ain't no problem. And we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> this is Katiwa Extra Podcast. Okay. Hola guys, happy new year and I hope you had mad fun during the holidays but at the same time I'm here to remind you as to why you should be joining me at Impala Club. <laughs> Extra podcast. I'm your host, Miss Katia, the Caribbean Queen, and of course, my beautiful guest, Kelly. <laughs> well, greasy, well, greasy, well, greasy. Babe, uh-huh. before we even continue talking about, you know, we talking about niggas right now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're trying to escape, but we talking about niggas right now. Uh huh. Okay. What no exactly what we say? We're talking about the Jamaican nigga you kissed. Um. Okay. I kissed a Jamaican. Uh huh. And it doesn't fit. Uh huh. <laughs> Kissing is normal. <laughs> Kissing is normal. <laughs> Kindly. That's why you. I found out nothing like that for the content. <laughs> but alright, cool. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Relax. <Jimmy. laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh-huh. even the rest of you that are watching over here, Jamaican men are mwah. Jamaican men are cheats. Jamaican men are trash. Me they are trash. Me. I understand and I agree with that. And they are so aggressive. But physically, they look amazing. They are tall, uh, you know, physically. Shout out to G-Money, kid. man. Woo! Woo! G-Money sexy. G-Money <laughs> in the morning. Big shout out to G. Uh-huh. They're sexy. Um, They're so tall. I've, I've had a couple of approaches from, you know, Jamaican men. Uh-huh. So uh, it's not um, something new. You know, they don't eat pussy. Yeah, I know they don't eat pussy, yeah. but not all of them. So you found one that eats pussy? Uh, I never tried because we never got to that extent. So how long does it take for you to get that comfortable with someone? Are you able, like if you feel like a connection, Mm -hmm. the first time you hang out with somebody, are you willing to sleep with them? It depends. Um, It depends with the kind of communication. I'm a connection Connection to in the Mm -hmm. first place. Mm Uh, I wouldn't say I've never had... uh, One night stand? Yeah, not even a one night stand. Um, in terms of like meeting someone for the first time and, then, and having sex, yeah. uh, you know, the first time you meet, mm. I've had it once and it was amazing. And then after that, like what happened? We got to know each other, of course, and uh, you know, uh, the games began. Um, I wasn't ready for, I mean, committing. I wasn't ready for relationship. And why was that? Because he wasn't your favorite nigga, right? No, he was and he had someone. Actually, he had issues. Alikuwa na baby mama, alikuwa na... Najwa, nani unongi? This bitch! This bitch! Ah! No, no. Ndasima leo ni kuchoma? In about five minutes, I'm giving you another shot. But no, yeah, uh-huh. I understand. No, no, no. No more tequila. No more tequila. Yes, more tequila. You ain't gonna take over. But, this is like a whole takeover. Nikidia mekufunza takeover. 
Hey, clearly. Shout out to DJ I love Here's the thing. I'm very honest because when I love, I love. Mini kingia ni mengia. And so when I know kuna obstacles around, I try to avoid. Until ile time when when you feel comfortable enough, not even comfortable, until ile mm. time utakuja ku understand, um if it's me, it's me. No other bitches around. So do you do you chase the guys in the beginning? Do you feel like you chase them or do you feel like you just he wait for to them be to worth make it? He has to be worth it for what me to chase. What makes him worth it? For you like Kati or what's your ideal kind of like man? You know babe. Um I told I can handsome. He got to be buff, you know, got that fashion sense and knows how to fuck. <laughs> you know me. Cindy, you may hit the nail. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um but I said I'm trying to change my taste because I feel like I'm Girl, no, you fucking lie. No, but I'm not changing my taste. I just believe they're good men outside there. I love them tall. I love them dark. I love them with good <coughs> sense of fashion. I know you do. We literally have the same taste. <laughs> Me and you. This which said we Why do I feel like taste. she's taking over my show? <laughs> like Nikana interviewer. Here's the thing, we literally have the same taste. Mm-hmm. But at the same time as much as it's tall, dark and handsome, mm-hmm. um, there's more to it. He has to be smart. Intellectual. He has to be very, very smart, intellectual. Mm. He has to be a nimse mwenye anajua relationship, akona relationship wana God. Okay. I like that. Mm-hmm. Lazima akona relationship. Wa. He mm. has to be a very responsible man. I need to be taken care of. Baby girl, I've taken you care of myself for 30 god damn it. 30 god damn years. 30. You want to be spoiled? Unataka baby girl Yes, I've never sasa. been spoiled. True. Like girl, girl same. Sijai was spoiled. I've girl been spoiling same. myself. You all see me living life on Instagram. Oh, Sijai, I'm heading It's where. all from your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that is my goddamn money. Don't worry. It's my goddamn money. Maybe kazi ya Mungu hainanga makosa. Hainanga. But you see what, babe? Uh-huh. <laughs> This is what I say. Mm. For for a man to understand what I need mm. or for a man to understand how I need to be treated. Mm. He needs to understand how I treat myself. So, yeah. how I treat myself, how I love myself, mm-hmm. that is the same way the man that needs to be in my life. Mm-hmm. And if I can understand even when isu stuff na jifanya. He needs to understand your love languages. Bitches, do you do you <laughs> understand? Yes. <laughs> like if He's a preacher. I need, whatever I do to myself the man that He wants to, do to be my, yes it's either you do whatever i'm doing to myself or better 10 times better but then now uh, you need to it? you need to understand that whenever people get into relationships at first if your love language is uh, acts of service or gifting and mine is words of affirmation and physical touch that is also part of it fine but now um i'll be loving you with touch and i'll be affirming you but won't attack a gift no That's what happens in the beginning because you're trying to impose yourself onto somebody. So unless you have that conversation early on and you're like, you know what, bitch? This is what I want. So do you do you walk up to a nigga and you're like, "All right, cool, we're feeling each other?" Yes. And then you're like, "You know what, Chucky? I feel you, you feel me. What's going on?" Or do you feel like you go in and you're like, "You know what? Let's feel each other out for a while first and then we come in with intentions." So here's the thing. For me, first of all, I want to understand kama niko na connection na wewe because uh-huh. i cannot come with all these demands mm-hmm. and 100% i know we don't have connection yeah, yeah. so if i know that this is something that might end up being beautiful yeah. then we need to have a conversation if i know you like me and i like you yeah. 100% there's something so before we even start dating we mm. need to have a serious conversation mm-hmm. and a serious conversation means I need to know what you want. You need to know what I want. I need to understand what's your love language. You need to understand what's my love language. And if it's difficult for you to understand my yeah. love language or if it's difficult for me to understand your love language, then you na manisha. Mm-mm. So are you willing to just let go that easily? How 
Are you good at letting go? Am I? You have attached yourself. I'm very yourself? good. I'm very good. When, at letting go. Yeah, at letting go. But, but mm-hmm. it also depends. E letting go really happen when. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we get carried away and we forget ourselves yeah. and we find I'm ourselves. So in the. Oh I my God. Can I do that? Two for situationships, and we, you know, we started it and mm. we, you know, we fucked. Or we had sex and ikakuwa tu. Ikakuwa let's just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we get carried away yeah. and we get confused and we forget our priorities. Mm-hmm. And that is so wrong. Because kama uli sa priorities, you know manisha, we didn't have this conversation. Yeah. If we had this conversation, atunge kwa tuna experience whatever All we this right yes. now, yeah. And it's something that I've experienced, and it's a learning lesson. It's an experience, and it's a lesson that I've learned mm. that even when it comes to my next relationship, God willing, whoever comes to my life. It to me, 2023 is the year for our boyfriends, and you. 2023 is the year Miss Katia was going to get into a relationship. <laughs> it's the year to, you're flying out to Maldives. Eh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not come. But for me, when it comes to these kind of situations, right? <clears throat> once you find yourself like let's say in a situation, like yes, you should have had the conversation early on in the beginning. Yeah. Like in As you've said now, for you at that point letting go is type different. So Um because it's a situation. Yeah, it is a situation. You're not defined. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I before we even get to that point of I've seen you with another person. Mm. Of course, there's a conversation that happened in between. God, that's good. Let me clarify. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your story of the guy who had somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. in that situation, in that situation, we don't we don't have anything to talk about. You decided that's your way. That's your way. I'm gone. Nah, if he breaks things up with that and then comes up to you, cut you off. You see, you. there's a proper way of breaking things. Mm-hmm. I believe in having mutual conversation. Yeah. I 100% believe in that. Mm-hmm. Before you even make your next move to the next person, I believe in maturity. I believe in... Um, in Do you believe in honesty? Yes, I believe in honesty. Because I'm very honest when it comes to the people that I'm dating or the people that I have situationships mm-hmm. with or the people that I'm, I'm just having sex with. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean I have all When's that. When's the last time you had sex? When was the last time I had sex? Okay. <laughs> are you going to answer the question? Yes, I'm going to answer the question. Or are you going to plead the fifth? Yes, you know I'm you can plead the fifth start. and just take a shot. I'm not going to play the fifth. Plead the fifth. Um, I had sex, I think, three weeks, two weeks ago. Ah. Yeah, after like uh, wow. ten months of not having sex. Yeah, so... Sex is very important. It's it is. It is. And the other day I was looking there's a, there's a doctor that I follow. Mm-hmm. Actually a gynecologist. Um, I, I don't know the name, but I just know he's a gynecologist. Mm-hmm. But I'll send you the, the, the page. Yeah, uh-huh. the page. And I want to say, Mom, women need to understand that sex is very important. Same way uh, it's advertised to men yeah. because we're avoiding some divi- diseases and all that. Sex is very important to people or to human beings. Mm-hmm. And this is not for people under the age of 18. Um, yeah, uh, but, but, but clearly we know less yeah, than 18 yeah. years are having sex yeah. and we need to have these conversations because we are avoiding them because we feel that it's, an African, conversa- society. Yeah, it's an African society yeah. thing and it's, it has a lot of stigmatization mm. behind it. Sex is very important and the doctor was saying, women and men, it's very important to understand that you should know mm-hmm. to have sex twice or thrice a week. Must it's be healthy. Nice. It, it must be nice. Thank you for saying oh. that. It must be very nice. Yeah. But, but at it this keeps us time, yeah. Healthy, yeah. I, before before the two weeks ago, I was, was dying, bro. Do you know? Actually, your immune system works better the more you have sex. If you're if you're the type of person who gets sick a lot, 
you will die. Bro, it's because you're not having sex, bro. Akili yako imesha, timelock. Hey, you cannot think. Yani your heart is going boom boom. Pole pole, you. your kidneys are not functioning vizuri. <laughs> anyway, let me not get into that because naja hiyo, you know, you sometimes una piganga simu na uko like eh kuna network bro what the heck what's, what's that not that? happening and hey, that's why <laughs> unaambia eh hey, safari kwa mama airtel ama whatsoever boosters wana fa kuweka boosters kila mahali and when you talk about boosters uh-huh. there's a sex in our life yeah sex is important because ina open akili ina open <laughs> will clarity yes and clarity but you know post na clarity is fucked up because I could fuck you then after I've gone in my night I'm like yeah. why did I do this why, why did, did I do I this with Katiwa yeah are, are you in that position in your life whereby you can just have sex with someone and you're like okay now we are done like it was just sex and we are easy we we are good to go because if I kitambo uh-huh. kitambo we come as, as, women, wanawake, as yeah. women it never used to be it used to be a big deal let me just say it used It's to be taboo, a big deal yeah. for men it was like ah we can have this thing and it's normal but for women sex is so attaching like we are so attached to it no especially if you <coughs> like someone babe naju me grow states so it's easier for you to live no, no, with no. it but do, i'm not going to get into details about that but like even in the states i had a boyfriend okay my jamaican boyfriend ooh okay when i tell so you Jama- so you've dated a jamaican yeah i've also. dated a jamaican and a volto all right so i mean after the jamaican um there was someone else I was involved with Okay. And there was no emotional attachment whatsoever. So I don't like this whole like myth that people say that women if they fuck you that means we emotionally attached. Da, da. I mean there's certain people that I do have that emotional attachment mm-hmm. to. But for us to get to that place it takes a while you get. Yeah. Sometimes a babe just wants a nut. Me I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, that's it. We just want a nut and then that's, yeah, that's it. it. Like I'm not going to call you the next time and be like, no. "Hey, have you eaten?" No, uh-uh, I don't really no. care about you that much. We just did what we had to do. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, and it's okay, and man. And can we normalize it? Can we normalize just having a, mu- a a mutual, you know, contact and that's just it? But you know it's taboo because even now, I'm pretty sure people our age will still be like, "Guys, our age will still be like ati ai um sana mpitia sana." Ah, mpitia sana. The thing is, we women get judged a lot because Um you have yeah, sex with I'm someone mm-hmm. and calling it it's okay uh unakuwa like ah when ipoko ah when it dempi unakula sana huko nje and all that mm. while this niggas i mean sorry <laughs> men <laughs> when men do that it's easy it's yeah. like them it's being men yeah. it's <laughs> it's the normal life of a man so you see what's really fucked up is now if we circle around to the whole conversation about us being sexy yeah when it comes to clothing as women were being objectified naturally all right by society yeah. but now when we tap into that energy mm-hmm. of being sexual mm-hmm. or sexy yeah. you're told no you shouldn't do that you shouldn't but do why that. you've mm-hmm. been objectifying me since the age of like seven. babe let's even have a hold on that conversation <laughs> when muluya <laughs> yes muluya have you seen her legs uh-uh, wait what's that <laughs> do you see mume on tiktok za udem like babe to a dance by the way we'll do a but tiktok we'll have to do a tiktok we'll do a tiktok so you're luya yes i'm uh, half luya half cameroonian bombo class <laughs> yeah half luya half cameroonian no jo cameroon ka wa luya now i don't know what luya meshika zigwembe kabisa look at your zigwembe like <laughs> ndoizi <laughs> wa gana wa cameroon wame sindumbo kwa kindumbo indumbo 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 Let me tell you I can speak a couple of languages Kiluya Kikisi Kikamba uh Kikuyu nikiongea na ongea ngani kama na twenge it, it, it comes out like Maheni. a type of yeah Maheni. Maheni. <laughs> so uh-huh. Do you have you ever even gone uh you know gone to your rural pray? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pray. <laughs> <laughs> Unataka short <laughs> ilainishe. Ilainishe please 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 half yeah. Yeah half. But yeah I've I haven't been since I came back to be honest. Where exactly? Una um, Bitch. Seven years you've seen. Ha. Me witness. Oh my god. No, Joy your story no, you guys no, no, need no, to no. like, share, subscribe. Thank you. To Katiwa TV. Joy your story to notification. But oh yeah. Oh my god. Why do the people last time, say mm-hmm. that if you don't cheers while looking at people's eyes? Maito. Uh that means that you're going to have terrible Bitch, I can't even see your eyes. Get, 
Hello? <laughs> so, yeah, but you're supposed to. Oh no, these are myths of drinking, man. I think we're all just making them up. <laughs> Your cases? You feel me? Your cases? I'm okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Louis Alan? Let me even, let me give you a short story of how we met. <laughs> or should you give it? You give okay, I'll give my account, you give your account, start. So first of all, before even we say that, mm -hmm. um you come from which part of the Luya land? Alright, so I'm from BG. Okay, our, our Ushago Kabisa Kabisa, yes. the place itself is called Port Victoria. Port Victoria. It's at the lake itself. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually the Makufu anakuanga shocked aki skiani kiongea kiluya. I grew up in Kibera. Yeah. Kibera is so diverse. Kibera iko na waluya wa everything. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. in the 2007 clashes, there's a place you couldn't cross if unless you are you uh, yes, unless you are either a jaka. Jaluo, mm. and I love Jaluo big time. Oof. Low men are toxic. They're beautiful as fuck, but they're toxic. Kuna moja hapa na mfikiria. Jina ke ikona L Mali. LOL. LOL. Jina ke ikona L Mali. Anyway. So, growing up with Luya's, growing mm. up with them. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm such a quick learner yeah. when it comes to language. languages. Yeah. Neza kaplis moja. Yeah. Uh, but also my mom speaks like 17 languages my mom so too yeah. i think it's in there in the blood it's girl the blur. you're just disciplined shut up it's in the blur. But, it's a, but it, it's the best way to learn languages honestly like now the next time we go to germany yeah just make them speak oh, to I you i have in a german. couple of nearly learn some things what the fuck i only know axel that's a german for Akso ina manisha, akso ina manisha. Oh really? Like, oh I see. Akso. So that's the meaning. Then Guten Morgen. Good mo. Good Guten morning. Tag. Guten ha. What's Guten a hospital? Oh, a hospital. Kraken House. Eh, Kraken. Hey. <laughs> but I know the uh. letter from the doctor in it was crank. Crank. Yes. For you to like, given enough, you need a crank. <laughs> a crank. Na kwa mbizi crank tu mbizi tafutu tuki ni kwa Germany. But anyway, mm -hmm. I so love Luya's, I love Jaluo's. I'm just attracted to Lakeside. To Lakeside and the western side. It's the skin, baby. It's Woo! the chocolate. It's the chocolate, <laughs> man. Bariari. Hmm? Bariari. Bariari. <laughs> so, you Luya? Napenda wa Luya. I think I've dated. Wait, have, I, have you dated a Luya? No. A Jaluo? No. I've Babe, dated a Kale. No, 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 no. I've dated. Ooh. ooh. I've dated a guy that was half Luo, half Kikuyu. Okay. I've dated a Kale okay. most recently. Uh -huh. uh, I've dated a Rwandi Zimbabwean. No, I've dated a Luya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I forget Should that? Should I even remind you? Who? Who? Okay, I don't know anything. I, I don't Who know remind me? It, but I was. No, let's ask talk. You. We, we, we yes, talk in spicy, this right? conversation. And I think. Um, it's a question that I've also been getting from a lot of people because people know that me and you be friends. And let me tell you, if I don't give you your flowers, babe, give me my flowers, you. bitch. Give me my flowers. I love bitch. you. You're stunning. You're talented, <laughs> <laughs> and you're fun to be around. Uh huh. Uliza, uh, you're swelly. Thank you. Wait. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. Um, you work with Kerry. Uh huh. Uh, you know, Kerry from. Uh, the Carry your boyfriend, Carry. What? My what? boyfriend? Okay. What? He's my boyfriend. Like he's your homie? He's yeah, he's homie. my boyfriend. Okay, he's your homie. Yeah. Homie, homie? Mm. Here we go. Sorry, I've taken my glasses off already. New Lisa, what do okay. you want to ask? You me guys hang out a lot. I've told you a couple of times <coughs> that you look amazing. Both of you look amazing. Of course we do. And you guys share literally names. Carrie and Kelly. Are you guys seeing that? Carrie and Kelly. I mean, isn't that a coincidence? Um, have you guys fucked? No, we haven't. What are you waiting? He's, Why are we waiting? What are, what are you waiting for? 
Girl, why haven't you fucked him? No, cause or maybe you have. You're no, just not saying it. Hello, hello. Excuse me. No, because you see now for me, when it comes to Carrie, let me tell you. Okay. Carrie is my best friend. Okay. I love that guy to death. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But the thing about me is, all right, it's just like my friendship with like let's say Lotan or with Andy or with Nev or any of the other guys you might see. Joliata. Yeah, Joliata. All right. Yeah. It's just that right now. Yeah. So I'm just like, you know what? Eh. But you see now what happens is girls be coming around like the way you've said. <clears throat> What's going on? What's going on? You tell them nothing's going on. Nothing and they're like, no, no, I'd rather not do anything with Carrie because. Do you guys. OK, w- w- let's forget the friends and the people, the girls that are around and all that when you're on a puja. Sometimes be a madem, ni madem. Carrie is good looking, Kelly, you're good looking and all that. And trust me, I've told you a couple of times that you guys would make such a nice couple. Uh, both of you have never seen like, you know, maybe tuneza kuwa na kitu, ineza kuwa ina happen and all that. Like, is there just something, um, you know, you know, unajua kenye na manisha? No, I don't think I've ever like tried to think of him in that, that a specific light. Why? I don't know. Like he's so dark and handsome. I'm not gonna lie. Carrie is very attractive. Not, okay. He's very attractive. He is but attractive. then that's sad. <laughs> I think that's sad. Okay, to say me to Kerry ni joker. Ni joker. No, yeah, he's funny. He's a joker, yes, in real <laughs> life. But I think to Mezoyana Sana Maze. That's it. Mezoyana Sana. Mm. Alright, I think at this point we need to take off for a short break because we need to discuss <laughs> some course. certain things. Of course. Then we'll be right back. Stay tuned for more because the tea just gets it's hot. better. It's hot. It's getting worse. <laughs> Hola guys, happy new year and I hope you had mad fun during the holidays but at the same time I'm here to remind you as to why you should be joining me at Impala Club. podcast and just let me remind you for a minute that we are at Impala thank you so much Impala Club for hosting us and we have so much amazing offers that Zina Kuja on your way I don't know why you guys are wasting your time we have a wonderful gym we mm. have a wonderful sauna we have a wonderful steam bath and that means ukilipa gym unapata advantage ya kutumia sauna and steam bath why are you not even coming over here and you live just across we have a case. We so, have a swimming pool. We have a compound, a field that we need to make kukimbia. We need to make events. If you're thinking of also like doing big events, we are also offering memberships. If you want to be a member of Impala Club, and in Manisha, you can be able to utilize all this space, including the gym, the steam bath, the uh, the swimming pool, the tennis court, the rugby pitch. There's a lot that comes in store with it. So the only thing that you need to is come through and get to see what we are offering and just speak to our receptionist and get to know what are some of the offers that we are offering. But thank you so much to Impala Club. And here are some of the things that you'll be able to see when you're thinking of joining Impala Club as a member or as a member of the gym. Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Let me tell you, I've known Kelly for about. Um, Do you remember the first time we met? Tulikuta na Galana. Aya, what happened? 
Do you remember the absolute first time we met? Because I remember. I was still a newbie at Homeboy. Yes, na kumbuka you were still a newbie. And we had <laughs> you were meeting your kum sasa kutoka Galana. Yes. And then it was, you were seated next to Talia. Yes. And I don't know who I was talking to. Who was I talking to? I really don't know. I was talking to someone from Homeboy. Uh-huh. Uko tuna cheka cheka. Uh-huh. You looked at me and you said Shh. And I was like this bitch. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, girl, I ain't even bothering you. The meeting hasn't started. I'm like, why are you trying? To... Then I looked at you and Talia, and I was like, I was like, I cool. I turned into a song. I was like, you know what? I don't need no bad energy right now. It's 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 too early in the morning to go to meet her. I'm up by like 10 a.m. Yeah. You're there telling me shh. I was like, okay. All right, you gonna see me? So that gives me a question. Uh huh. What, the first time you saw me mm-hmm. how did you describe me like uliona na ka demo ina gani no you were chill you okay the first impression i have on you like looks wise you're really pretty all right Thank and you. then i loved your fashion sense and i was just like you and talia dress exactly like me so i'd obviously be friends with you but the first thing you said to me was Shh, and i was like you bitch <laughs> i'm like what the fuck kwani unadhani siniti ngi likuinaanza imeanza kina wadui head into the garden uliko usijika unakumbuka vile uliko napiga kelele of course man i'm a loud ass listen i'll be making more noise sometimes sometimes okay, do sometimes. you make a lot of noise you're trying to find out are you yeah. trying to find out okay yeah. we can find out no hell no <laughs> we do, do i look like do i look like i'm a noisy bitch well i think you are a noisy you too huh. but for me it depends If if it's right then yeah I'm gonna make that noise but if it's not then nigga I'm gonna look at you like okay So basically the guy has to deserve the noise he has to be deserve <laughs> the noise Yeah but with the guys the few uh we're not getting into that conversation but yeah guys know how to do it Okay There. How would you describe our industry you you came in <clears throat> as a newbie And sometimes oh man, I understand how it is tough. Yeah. Like it's so tough kukuja kama mgeni, yeah. especially if you're, you know, umegrow outside and all that. Yeah. Then you're coming in right now. How how did you feel the reception for you likuaje first of all? Okay. So for me, if you, if people really know this, I feel like you know this, mm. but I dumb down my accent whenever I speak to people, especially yeah. here because guys are like kwani unajifanya but it's yeah. not like that yeah. if you get me upset you'll actually hear my accent come out because i'm just like yo don't play with me mm. so i mean at first it's very hard because guys are like unajifanya unadai kuwa kama wase wa capital city what to tell them just like no this is this is how i speak yeah so you know for me it was one of those things where like once i started i was just trying to be more relatable because mm. now if you even watch me on tv i speak in swahili yeah and people aren't used to that i'm also not used to that yeah. i'm really struggling if you ask my best friend shout out to you stuff yeah she will constantly talk to me and she'll be like hey, where bro up clear <laughs> like see must we understand yeah. but i i really try to be relatable and everything so i mean it's hard because everyone will be like okay this babe i'm at coco she's speaking in an accent she's trying to be Oh like a Kenyan kabisa cuz even with Kim sometimes Kim will be like eh yeah. umesema and I'm just like mm, and I'm just like man you see now it makes it hard because now people make it more evident yeah. and that's what people choose to focus on yeah if it's not that they're focusing on how you look as a woman yeah. if you if you're sexy or not on TV yeah. they're criticizing either your thoughts or something and i like it when people criticize my thoughts because people always think that because i look like this i'm stupid right People always assume that sexy bitches are stupid. Are stupid. We don't Excuse have anything us. inside our heads. Mm. And I'm like, bro, na ina kwanga ufala by the way. Yeah, it's very stupid because it's like why would you think that I don't have any information about the most basic shit? Right. All right. So when you speak about it guys are like, "Oh no, you know this is a man." And I'm like, "No, it's not for a man." Yeah. You want you gave me this challenge, yeah. I overcame it. So why aren't you giving me my pay dues? Like give me my flowers, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. But you see now here in the Kenyan industry to quote somebody talking about the Kenyan industry. Uh-huh. How did you even when you came back mm-hmm. uh, to Kenya? Mm-hmm. Those were a couple of years ago. Then uh yeah, um, five. yes, uh-huh. five. Mm-hmm. How ulipataje your link up kwa sababu watu wengi wamejaribu sana kuingia kwa hiyo entertainment. Me let me tell you something. How did you even get yourself at Homeboys Radio? 
All right. So, I mean, in Form 2, I was like, I have to work at Humbrae's Radio. Yeah. When I came back to Kenya, um, it was literally by chance. You know, I was jobless at that point. Yeah. So, I'd probably just follow my mom around to the office and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, what happened this specific day is that uh, Mike Rabah walked into the office and I knew who he was. Yeah. And I was like, bro... I want a job at Homeboys. Big shout out even to John Temavela. Hey, okay, John, John, oh yeah. John I call and him Mike. John yeah. Temavela. <laughs> John Raba. Yeah, John okay. Raba, now Mike Raba's brother. Yes, yes. So I saw Mike and I was like, Manze, please, please to just an internship. Yeah. Let me prove myself and let's see what's up. And he was like, you know what? No problem. Right. Let me send you John's email. Do what you can. Yeah. So the following week, John was like, oh, okay, you just want an internship. And I'm like, yeah, see what I can do. He's like, what can you do? I was like, voiceovers. I do digital in uni. I did commentary when it came to like sports games because um, I went to Queens College in New York. Okay. And we were big on um, basketball. Mm-hmm. So it, media students would always kind of go there and be like, oh, okay, this is Katio with the board. Basic shit. So I went there and I said that and he was like, all right, cool. Let's start. So immediately I started um, digital for Ray. Mm. I did digital for um, Ignition. Mm. And then I was given the weekend show. After yes. that, for things went by. Mm. How would you say, how would you say is the difference when it comes to media in the States and over here? Or the industry, the entertainment industry compared to like Kenya? I feel like for... Uh, like in the states when i was still in uni they invest a lot more mm. in the craft mm-hmm. all right mm. like if you and i are the hosts of now your show yeah. they're going to ensure that we have everything down pat be it the background be it the location we can go to the maldives and be like yo we're trying to do this and the third we can go to bali and be like yo this is what's happening all right they'll always invest in the talent itself first yeah before they t- try and see what revenues are coming in so it gives you that creative like freedom to be yourself mm. and i like i like that a lot more mm-hmm. the only restriction would probably be like all right we're black yeah. <laughs> so we know there are certain places that will make more money but they yeah. would not hire us do you think because we have freedom when it comes to art and craft mm-hmm. in the states do you mm-hmm. think apart from limited of course how do you think we are limited in terms of what um our mindset as kenyans mm. like we're still we're not like traditional OD yeah. but we were still in the space where we're trying to figure out if it's okay for us to be as free as we are like right. for you and I yeah. and people are still like no 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 as a woman you need to do this yeah, even you if you're in this, this yeah you need to do. as a man you still need to be like this and this and this because yeah. you know like right now if you get a boyfriend and you make more money than him yeah when you go out, when you go out it'll be one of those things where you'll be like babe I'll give you this chiniawa bus yeah don't tell the boys that it's my card you just mm, pay mm. as opposed to you just being like you know what let me pay for this and there's no shame yeah so we still have that patriarchy mm-hmm. that limits a lot of women mm. and still puts us behind because people are stuck in the old ways of just thinking listen a man needs to provide yeah. and all these certain jobs like for us as creatives yeah it's not something that's feasible to the society right you need to be an accountant you need yeah. to be a lawyer all those things that our parents mm-hmm. would be yeah so being here right now, it's like, I... Who's that one person that has always pushed you to be the person that you, you, you are or the inspiration that you look up to? Ninani, we okay? Kelly, kuna umtu moja mwenye liku inspire kukua, the person that you want to be. Okay, when it comes to radio, I'll be honest. Yeah. G was the first, I'm telling you, there was just one morning, he just said, he said, good morning, Nairobi, hello world. And I was like, boom that's it that's it i have to work at homeboys oh, when it God. comes to television loki <laughs> loki yeah, no, no, you no, and talia no. yeah loki when it comes to tv it was you and talia mm. <laughs> 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 but yeah yeah because i would watch you guys honestly before i joined homeboys i would watch on tv all the time citizen all the time i'm just like wow i was trying to wear and you're not afraid of being who you are and for me in new york that's what tapped in for me i shouldn't be afraid of being who the fuck i am i'm a boss ass bitch i'm a bad bitch Bumbo-clad. you better recognize you get me <laughs> you said you dated a jamaican yeah um how would you compare um our kenyan men and it's all of them are trash stop <laughs> 
messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Hakuna difference. Hakuna difference. Hata abu ame jam. Unataka shot. Unataka oh, shot. No, no, Unataka masa, shot. Masa, masa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of them are trash. Where, where, no, where, 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 but where? let me be honest, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when it comes to Jamaicans, all right, so I've been with... <laughs> no, it's okay. I've never dated a Jamaican, but I've been, I've been in a situation you, with a Jamaican. Yeah, but you know there are differences between them. There are some who accept the kula. Nini and the others who don't. But Jamaican man are cheat. All of them. Like I think the first like red flag or warning I was given by my Caribbean friends when I moved to New York was Yeah. I was say. By the way, you should be scared of Jamaican to men. Lia. And I totally respect Jamaican men, but those are one of the biggest cheats. <laughs> biggest cheats. Because they just never settle for one woman. Bro, me what, 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 what? Okay, the game is good. I've never tried the game, but I've heard. What, what about the game? Tell me about the game. Well, it depends. You see now, people... Okay, niggas. No, both niggas and bitches. Most girls believe that it's the size okay. that matters. It's not. It's not. If the guy knows how to work what he's working with, yeah. he's good. Yeah. So now when it comes to Jamaicans, they don't take pride, they, okay, sorry, they do take pride in that. Okay, the two that I was with. Okay. They did take pride in that, but most of them, like, if you ask G, G will tell you Jamaican men don't eat punani. Yeah, they don't. And I've heard it a lot. It's true by the way. It is so true because when I was in Germany, mm-hmm. I met a lot of Jamaican guys. And I also had a friend of mine and he saw me when... Yeah, well, I would say a lot of Jamaican men were approaching me at that of time. Of course, you're painting. You're from the <laughs> motherland. That's what they say. Are oh, you from the motherland, Empress? Empress, Empress Jobless. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was told they don't eat the pee. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what up? Yeah. What land they like? What the heck? And they Bro, just even don't our eat. friend doesn't. Our friend. Our friend, who you? Oh, are you kidding? Ah, uh-uh, our friend, you don't know who I'm talking about. Okay. Ooh, anaka, anafanana na u artist. Babe, please. <laughs> okay, you'll tell me that uh-uh. later. Uh-uh. Our normal friend? Yeah, our normal friend. Ah! <laughs> Black! Okay. I'm a, I'm a, okay, anyway. No, Twendale. wait. No, Twendale. wait. You are know, you, guys. Are you thinking? I'm wait. thinking what you're thinking, no, bitch. No, n- not, sh- no. <laughs> You're making me scare you, Hades. Hell no. Yeah. That, that, did it. Too. <laughs> that did it. No way. Yeah. Okay, I don't give a shit because I don't need a. Vilena could die. I see neither. Ah. See neither, babe. By the way, do you know, ukiwa machi machi, by the way, mutaza watu yu wana kawazu. Eh, na juwa watu yu wata kafiti and all that. But baby girl, I'd rather ni zaina otorongongo na anafanya kazi. Tolewa na mkisibas. No, Mr. Kim Kisi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I have Kisi siblings. My mom got married to a Kisi guy. Uh-huh. And you don't like? I, I just don't like. The experience for me, it wasn't that pleasant. Uh-huh. And I to- and it's not that I hate kisses. I love kisses. Mm-hmm. And I have a Kisi name. And it doesn't mean I'm a Kisi. Kisi. <laughs> but <laughs> I was- Oh, okay. Then your, na- your name is nice. My lawyer name is... <laughs> what, what's your lawyer name? By the I need your full names. Kelly Louise Odero. Ah, that's not so bad. Umeskia ya photograph angu? Ah, anaito? Wa? Ah. <laughs> anaito? Wa? 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 Anaito? Do you, uh, should we say? Yes! Choma mm. yote, buwana, hey, it's Thirsty Thursday. I'm going to go to home. You have to discuss that. How many guys have you dated? Dated as in dated like, or been in relationship? In relationship, because dating okay, is when, different from okay, relationship. Yes, yeah, but now when do relationships count? Because when Jamil ko ale was a high school peer, yeah, ko na boyfriend high school. Like the people who meant so much to you. Hmm, I've dated. Okay, if I'm considering the people who actually meant something to me, right? Should I say their names? <clears throat> okay. I mean, oof, there were two. 
two T's. I have a thing with niggas with the tea. name starting with T, by the way. I've dated ending around... With... Ending. Yeah. No, they start with T. I've okay. dated at... at Anaito? Okay, I'll just say it. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. So I've dated one, two, three. About three. Okay. Three relationships that actually meant something to me. Okay, what about the people who you... Um... you you're asking my body count? Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me your body count? I, it's not a big problem. Okay, sad. Uh, my body count I just Peter 15. I told me I just Peter 15. Why are you laughing? Because I know you do. Me at I just Peter, I just Peter 10. Yeah, so it's not that bad. Me, let me tell you. When it comes to sex, mm-hmm. like I might be attracted to you very much, yeah. but kuna you okay too? Like, first of all, with Kenyan niggas, let me be completely honest. Yeah. I haven't moved around much since my past relationship. Right. Honestly, I haven't moved around since my when relationship. When was the last time you had a serious relationship? Whoa. We broke up. No, he broke up with me in 2020. Yes, eh? 2020. He broke up with you. No, but you see now, we all grow at different rates, you know. Okay. Yeah, and then now, Kipata Mse. Wait, so have you dated a Kenyan guy? Yeah, oh. my my ex was Kale. My ex was Kale. Oh, Kale. Yeah. By the way, give us a hint of how Kale's Naskia Kale's work on a CV poor. No, let me tell you, he was. I got sour. I got sour, but it just. Had, we weren't understanding each other, honestly. Okay. You because, are not on the same page. Yeah, we weren't on the same page because I, whenever I get into a commitment, mm-hmm. I'm one of those people where if I like you, I'm about you. Okay. I stick me to you too. and I want to like work on it and yes. stuff like that. Yes. And he wasn't. Let me tell you this, guys. I'm a very intense person. Okay. Like when you first meet me, you think I'm just loud, but I'm very intense. I'm in your face. I want to know about you, all that kind of stuff. And people don't like that. Are you a PDA person? Like you'd walk with not necessarily. Person. I can I can hold hands with you in public. I can like peck you in public, but this was a nah, no. You won't kiss your person in public. No, I'll I'll peck you in public, but I won't peck get you here. No, peck even here. I'll I'll kiss you on the lips in public. You but won't kiss. I will. I, broke I will. Kiss band. No, I will. I will, but I won't like go into a full-on makeout session okay. with All you. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm able to hold hands if you want to like hold each other. Yes. Po- I'm fine with that. Okay. I do, I don't mind PDA. Okay. Yeah. Do you? I don't mind. I'm I'm so PDA. Big. I'm so big when it comes to PDA. I'm I'm I'm, I'm one of those people in your Nikki Waka relationship. <laughs> Everybody must <laughs> know. Motherfuckers, you will know. <laughs> <laughs> but even me. Like Mutajua. The same man. And I don't care, her. Mutajua, whether you like it or not. I'm just one person mm-hmm. when you Nikki very flexible when it comes to like my. My relationship and the people that I date. Mm-hmm. Um, I love love. Like, I Same. love love. I'm into love. Same. And I feel so bad that I'm single right now. <laughs> I feel so bad by the way because. Girl, that let is me not tell you life. something. What happens with this whole cycle is you want somebody. Yeah. And the person that you want wants somebody else. Right. And the person that they want also wants somebody else. Right. And the person that that other person wants wants the person that you want and that person. In the end of two of you, full yeah. circle. Yeah. But the thing people don't realize is, as obvious for us, we go for our types. Okay. Instead of doing that, we need to go for people who actually cheat as well and all that kind of stuff. But you see now, I know for you and I, we look at the appearance first. We want to be able to up to a to Nangaliana like <laughs> No, you're hot, I'm hot. Yeah. I believe I'm very, Girl, very good looking. We sexy so as fuck. The person that yeah. is coming to my life must be good looking. True. Must be. Amen. Knock on wood. I'm not going for We're less. It. I'm not going for less. What are your red flags? <laughs> My red flags. <laughs> okay. Nata, are you toxic, first of all? I mean, Why everybody do I think is you are toxic? toxic. Everybody is toxic. I'm not because, toxic. No, because, babe, let me tell you something. There are like 12 niggas in your DM right now, right? And you'd rather not even respond to any of them. Instead, you'd rather chase this homie who replies to you two, Can I tell two you days or 12 weeks later. Can I tell you something? People think my DM is always full. And I just... Okay, the guy who brought me, yeah. whoever. Mm. I was speaking to him, Nikki Mwambia. A lot of people do think that my DM is always full. Girl, same. 
tufungua ni DM. Wase wengi ufikiria DM yangu imeja. Wase wengi wako intimidated, wase wengi wananiogopa kuni approach. And I wonder why I might be vocal, I might be so and all that watu wanani approach ni utu vijana tudogo tudogo. I don't want that. Check I it. don't want that. Me and my DM it's all babes. This is a babe. This is a babe. This is a babe. This is job. This is a babe. This is job. This is Zinia, Mamijo. Okay. This is an artist I'm Do interviewing women tonight. Approach you? Do women approach me? Yeah. I've actually, I don't think I've opened their DMs. <laughs> yeah, request. clearly I would yeah. understand if women hit on you because the system has changed, the generation has changed, mm. whereby we are not scared of approaching our, you know, literally yeah. the same gender. But have thing. you ever been bi curious? Uh, have I ever been? Bi curious, not bisexual, but bi curious. Just I've never. Never. Let me tell you, I believe, in, I believe in Black Python. <laughs> I just believe in Black this Python. Bitch said Black Python. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> no offense. No uh-huh. offense to Yo, for, um, I for, believe um, like Have you ever gotten a nigga who has like a dick that's like smaller than you expected him? Yeah. And, and then? I was very disappointed and I was like Bro, so I you can handle like you. 10 inches and above. What? 10 is too much. Oh? 10 is too oh? much. Oh? 10. Oh? Babe, 10 is too much. It's not too much. It's not too much. As I've told you, it's a motion in the ocean, man. Eh? Listen, I believe in 7 and above or 6 and above. 6 is the mo- is the normal. Six for you 6 is the regular. Is the regular. And for because um, you know four is the average uh, uh, length, I cannot right? go less than, like... But uh, four is the average. Years. So, mepa, yeah, two weeks ago, it was six, seven. Yeah. Najua ni nani? Najua, you think I'm stupid. You know, this is why I keep telling you, Katiwa studied me at the beginning and she asked me, Kelly, what did you study? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> Bro, let me tell you non-verbal cues speak. And you're doing all of them right now. I am one. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Stana. Nakujua. Nisawa. Nilijua. Nilijua. No, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking. Because you're thinking of what ah, you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to the same answer, but I'm not going to give you that answer because it's not what you're thinking. Now she's trying to do that reverse psychology on me <laughs> to make me feel like I am completely confused no, and I don't know what I'm th- saying. He's talking about my ex. <laughs> there's nothing much, there's nothing more, there's nothing less. Here's the thing. Um, <laughs> I'm for sure. <laughs> Here's the thing, yes. Half. Perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We tunatoa tunatoa ikutulini. Bro, me just manifest for me. Just manifest. Let's manifest. Better? Better. Better. Okay. Amen. We need a show. We we need to do our own show. Like me na Honestly. Like the e time nikidogo sana. Katiwa Extra is a podcast for her, but we're going to come up with something ourselves because the kind, <laughs> the amount of stuff we have to say is a lot. <laughs> I have a lot Axel. of questions for you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, babe. Uh-huh. Like, there's a lot of questions I have for you, but time. Ask time the biggest one. Do, do you have a, a burning question that you, you've always wanted to ask me? <laughs> a burning question. <laughs> That you've always wanted to ask me. A burning question? No, not really. Let me, let me, before we even get to the burning question, mm-hmm. what's the biggest lesson you've learned for the industry? And one thing that you'd want to inspire someone else that wants to get into the industry. <clears throat> All right. When you get into the industry, yeah. okay, Kenyan industry, let me be very specific. You need to be willing to put in the work. Okay. All right? Yeah. But at some point, understand your worth. Understand your worth and don't take the bare minimum because in our industry, more often than not, we overexceed ourselves whenever it comes to our jobs. Yeah. We completely go over and above for stuff that they'll probably pay like, I'm just bluffing, but like yeah. 3K for. Yeah. 
you get. Yeah. Where somewhere in the states where someone be required three thousand dollars for work up on a liqua three K. Yeah. So when it gets to that point you need to understand the kind of moves you need to make for yourself in the industry because maybe the institution that you're with or whatever you're working on is not working for you. Yeah. You need to understand your worth at that point. But first grow. Be grow. willing to grow because that's what I did. Okay. Where I am right now, like I'm not where I want to really be. Okay. But where I am right now has made me understand that I really needed to put in the work. Because I didn't understand why for Homeboys, I had to start with a weekend show, weekend breakfast. Yeah. I didn't understand why I'd have to fill in for people. But now it makes sense because it gives you that kind of practice. Like G-Money has even sat down with me and told me, Kelly, use this as a practice ground. Do it every That's day. That's what I did. Yeah, exactly. So you need to use it as a practice ground to know what exactly you're capable of doing right. and knowing what your niche is. Because if you want to have like a talk show or a podcast, da, 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 you can mold yourself into that. Yeah. If you're trying to be someone who's more of the business or political angle, you can mold yourself with those kind of shows. Right. But now, if you don't have a focus, it'll be more... You'll be told, do, do that, do this, do, do this, do this, and you don't want to. Right. So when you figure out your niche, stick to it and grow on it personally, and then now use, you taught me this, use the company to advertise yourself. Because the company is using you to yeah. advertise themselves. Exactly. Period. And that's exactly. just it. That's it. Okay, going back to my question. You still remember what I asked you? What? 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 She Sorry? What? I'm sorry. Let me drink my water, stay no. hydrated, People and mind my motherfucking question. business, bitch. Okay, are you in a relationship currently? No, I'm not. I'm single. Are you willing to be in a relationship? Yeah, of course. Keep What's your type? Okay, apart my from what My type... I, I don't know. I really like guys who are... You know, like, when a baby is with someone that they actually are supposed to be with mm. or something of that sort... You check into your divine feminine energy and the guy checks into his divine masculine. So there's always that kind of balance. Mm. So for me, <clears throat> I would love to have that kind of balance with someone because I know I'm loud as fuck, but I can also be quiet. Yeah. Now, if I find someone who's also like that and we have that ki kind of balance, yeah. I'd love it. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love a man who's also tall, dark and handsome. Hello, I love my chocolate. I love my chocolate. But don't be surprised if I end up with a jungu. Like, you know, life happens like that. Yeah. Like, you know. I don't mean you end up with a jungu. You end up with a jungu. You end up Life happens. Because sometimes life happens and we tend to think that we end up with everything we want. But I don't know what but it is what it is. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, one thing that you would advise people, apart from what you've said, just that one advice that you give to people that want to enter into the industry. Um, honestly, trust in your own potential. Trust in yourself. Know that you are worth what you are doing and that you can achieve more. Because if you let the industry get into your ear Ooh. people are going to just push you down and you'll be accepting shit that's not your worth right you'll be told that by the way this gig that you're going to do for 10 hours you're going to pay you 10k what right. and you'll accept it like oh my god yes i get to work with katiwa so like know your worth build your skill but know your worth axo 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 <laughs> Bitch, I love you. I love you too, bitch. I love yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. To Kimaliza. Oh my God, is that what? Yeah, sure. Burning question. You, you, you had a burning question for me. Ah, uh, pana. You to Kimaliza to tell me off. All right. It's such a wonderful <laughs> show. I wish we can continue, but the time is not on our side. Guys, I'm gonna be back. Yeah, she I'll will be back. Be, trust me. She I think we just need to have our own show. Let's yeah, make yeah. it happen. Let's make it happen. I'm willing. See you. To go up to my witness. Who my witness? Guys, wait. If you don't see a show between Katiwa and I, it's her fault. You know, it's I've not. accepted. When did you have it last? <sighs> last year, did you, guy, last year, 2022 in half quarter. So earlier on in the year, bro, at a mini make up a DJ Joe. You go up a DJ Joe. Hey, who can buy? Hey, 
itabidi itabidi katiwa <laughs> ada mimi niko mbaya lakini si ile tena sana <laughs> yeah bro you got two weeks ago hello well two, this three is... let's say three actually it's almost a month chapa shot Jay, you're sorry. To my Mali's apa. We're done. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who's been tuned in to Katiwa Extra Podcast. I'm so, 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 so happy that Ke- Kelly. Hey. <laughs> I know what the fuck you're trying to do, bitch. Yeah, gender out of us. But yes, my name has been Kelly. We're probably going to have a podcast soon, all right guys? So stay tuned. Where can people Thank find you? Thank you. All right, so on Instagram, Kelly Louise Q U E L L I E underscore L O U I S E and on Twitter the same thing. It's been wonderful having you on board. You look amazing. Of course, bitch. Amazing. I had to dress up for you in all black because I'm dead in time. Let me a simple cuz probably ulikuwa na nenda ku kill, nenda kupiga look. Maze. But you see, I was just simple for you. It's been amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribing, to everyone who's been watching and supporting everything. I really, 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 really appreciate. And of course, expect to see more from me and Kelly. What? Bombo Club. I told you to get Bye. Subscribe. Anenda kukojoa. Akuna kitu ingine anenda kufanya. Ni kukojoa tukunyora. Thank you so much. Keep on subscribing. That's the only thing I can tell you. And um, next week, uh, no, no, the next episode, expect it to be litter, litter and litter. Uh, thank you so much to Impala Club for hosting us. Thank you for hair by Saru. Kai mina kwambia munenda kukufa. Munenda ku. Eh? Dead, dead, dead. Because the hair this time round is going to be amazing. Thank you so much by Hair by Saruti. And thank you so much to my wonderful team for making this happen. Miss Katiwa, your host. Up until the next episode. <laughs>